this bay now is for what we call NAT testing. Um, again, it's a, a much more advanced technology. It allows us to pick up uh, a virus in the blood at a much earlier time. Um, this test, because it takes so long to do, is, is a pooling test. So where all the other tests we've shown you, the, it's each individual donor, and the donors test it individually. This test, we're gonna pool it together. Uh, so this NAT test pools, are, they make pools of 24. So the donor samples, again, have the unique barcodes on them. They're loaded onto the pipetter, and the pipetter is going to take several swings, and it's going to actually pipette the uh, plasma into two plates. One of them is called an intermediate plate, and the other one is called, called an archive plate. The archive plate will be frozen and saved uh, for about 30 days or so. The intermediate plate is really the working plate. So once it pipettes all of the plasma of the donors into the plate, we actually rotate the plate, like so, and then it's going to come back over, and it's going to pipette 24 donors into one of these tubes. We call it a Sarsted tube. So this one little tube here represents 24 donors. That's why it's called pooling. The instrument tracks, keeps track of all this for us. It keeps track of the barcode. Uh, all of the plates have a barcode on them. and the SARSET has a barcode. So it tracks the entire donation all the way through. Once we're at this stage, that whole pipetting process, very slow. It takes about three and a half hours just to pipette. Once we're in our little uh, SARSET or uh, test tube here, then this at this point becomes a manual test. So we're gonna add alcohol to that and we're going, three washes of alcohol, we're going to extract the RNA from the virus into this tube. So it's a manual, takes another about two and a half hours to do that process. Once we have everything extracted, the samples will be put in what we call an A-ring. So you can see the colors here, that's the two dyes, the blue and the pink dye. One of this is for HCV and one of this is for HIV. Then, the principle of the test is we're going to take a little virus RNA, we're going to put a probe in there like the lock and key to see if it's there, we're going to hook it up, and then we're going to extract it and turn it into DNA. Most people know DNA is their own genetic material. Viruses only have RNA, which is a single strand. So to make it more of a material so that we can detect it, we're going to actually replicate the virus RNA and make it into two-strand DNA. So we've taken a little piece and made it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to put this A ring into this instrument here that amplifies and detects it. So it opens up here and this A ring actually sits right into the instrument. It's a thermal cycle instrument. We close it and it's going to alternate temperatures and it's going to take that little DNA and it's going to stretch it and stretch it and stretch it and actually multiply the copies about a million times. So the reason why the NAT testing uh, can pick up um, an earlier uh, infection stage is because you can take such a small amount, if it's there at all, and then it's going to amplify and amplify and amplify it so you can detect it. The throughput of this assay is about nine hours.